Hello everyone out there in the music community. This is Microsoldier 777. I'm here to show you another episode of What's Spinning, uh, which is a series I've listened to since my last episode of What's Spinning. And let's get right to it. Before we get into it, um, can you guys, uh, if you watch my video you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, and comment on my video. Um, I like to bring my channel forward and getting more subs, so it would be great to appreciate it. Okay, let's get right to it. So first off, we have a new uh, reissue of Petra, uh, Unseen Power. <clears throat> great album. Um, Gorilla Music put this out uh, there a few months back. Great album. And uh, as you may know, the Rob Caldwell um, uh, production or remastering um, this has much more of a bottom end. On the original albums, it has a bit more of a shrillier um, aspect in certain spots, but Rob Cowell gives us more bottom line edge. So, it's great. so great uh, album. Petra Unseen Power, 1991. We should like Gerda Music. Another Gerda reissue is Petra, uh, the covering. There you have it. I also cranked this in my car. Great, great album came in 2011. Most of these songs are all good. Favorite ones are Blackout, uh, Heaven Hell, Carry On Wayward Son, Highway Star, Shout Loud, Over the Mountain, The Trooper, Breaking the Law, and God. These were all um, covers of bands that influenced Striper, but it has the original song God that they wrote. There you have it. Striper covering. Next up we have Siloam Sweet Destiny, reissued by uh, Retroactive Records. It was, a, it was a very dark album, but it was a great album as well. Uh, this came in 1995 originally, uh, reissued by Retroactive Records. Um, this is a follow-up to Sweet Destiny, which came in 1991. Uh, great album, Siloam Dying to Live. Next up, we also have another retroactive reissue, which I've been listening to and really qu quite enjoy. This Mainline Riders, Rose Shaker. Um, good album. A lot of good songs in this one. Twelve songs. The only song I don't really care for is Throwing Bones to the Wolves, which is the second track, but everything else is good. Um, not a bad track on the album, except for that one. What's, that one's not a bad, bad track, it's that it doesn't... Uh, does strike me as something I listen to over and over again, which is uh, again throwing bones to wolves. So mainline riders, world shaker, reissue two thousand nine, reissued by Retract Records. Next up we have Narnia, the self-titled album, came in two thousand sixteen. It's a reunion album where when Chris Lilligren came back to the band after being away for about uh, roughly eight nine years. There you have it. Uh, to every song in this album is good. Um, the only one I don't really care for is Who You Follow. But all of our songs are, all of our songs are good. Even the ballad is, is, is good. Thank you. It's a pretty good, pretty good ballad. Um, Reach for the Top. I still believe uh, these two, those are two more, more popular songs in the albums. Uh, On the Highest Mountain. Uh, Away to the Promised Land. Messengers. Moving on, it's the world on fire. All good, good songs. This crazy came in 2016. Next up, we have Narnia Ghost Town. This is their latest album, came out last year. Um, my thoughts on this album. This album starts off strong. Um, a lot of songs are good from the first track, Rebel, then, then Thief. Thief's sort of an odd song with a, with a fast keyboard, but it's pretty good. Hold On, Glory Days, um, Descension, and Ghost Town. These are all good songs, but I find that the last four songs are weaker weaker than the first six songs. Or the last, uh, sorry. Yeah, the, wor the last four songs are weaker than the first six songs. Um, Alive's Not Bad, Wake Up Call's Not Bad, Don't Like Modern Day Pharisees. Uh, the keyboard song out of the silence <clears throat> is pretty good. 
There's not really battles. It's got, like, got more keyboards than, than, than guitars. That's pretty good sound. And guess what's got the Lord prayer, Lord's Prayer on too. Let me, let me have a look and see. One second now. Give me one second to get this out. Hold on. There you go. Um, yeah, I was, I was silence. Um, Featured Eric Clayton, the saving machine. Has Lord's Prayer, so that's that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good tune. But like I said, a couple songs on our second song, I'm not, I'm not a fan of. Um, they're, they're so okay, but uh, you know, I'll probably rank this about seven out of ten. Next, so we have a reissue again of an older classic by um, uh, Alterum Records. This is Treasure Seeker, uh, Tribute to the Past. Um, good album, uh, certain spots or a third the album is a bit thinly produced, but if you got good speakers, it's a good listen. Um, comes contains a rip, the original song, True to the Past, but all the other songs are classics from, uh, from, um, classic metal bands. Twenty for Living is covered by Saint, Twelve the Devil is covered by Striper, or, 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 or Twelve Devils by Striper, which they cover. Um, Flames of Fire from Leviticus, very good song. Out of Darkness by Bloodgood. Silent Screens by uh, Rez. Rebel Jesus Christ by uh, Jerusalem. And the next three songs I don't have, I don't have in my collection. These other ones I do, but the next three songs I don't have in my collection. Wherever Light, which is from Force Three. Heroes from is by Bride, and Me Against from from Creed. So that, so every song is good. Not a bad song on the album. Uh, it comes with a nice thick booklet, which shows uh, thoughts and feelings expressed by uh, people in the music industry or, or the band themselves. Um, it comes with a nice collage of, of the um, of the band, pretty cool. Uh, it's got write-ups from the band themselves, what the music means to them, and it's got uh, writers from other people as well. So. Really good. Uh, listen, I haven't read all the notes yet, but I'm going to be doing that soon. That's well, a great album. We got two more left to go. We have Baron Cross, Atomic Arena, Reach Community 1988, by Retroactive Records. Great album. Um, I remember when I had a cassette for this one, it's a blast set my Walkman, it gave me a headache. I used to crank the album up on bus almost. But good album, Baron Cross, Tom Arena. Now much more needs to be said with this one. And finally, at the last one, now thanks for hanging out with me. Deliverance, Intense Live Series Presents. Another retroactive reissue. And this is their, um... 93, the band, uh, 92, is it 92? Yeah, 92, the band went to the studio and uh, re recorded uh, some classics. They cover a song of Surrender, No Love, This Present Darkness, Day of Execution, The Call, and No Time. Deliverance, Intense Life Series Presents, Volume 1. There you have it. Okay, folks, that's what I've been listening to, uh, listening to. That's the last video. And what I also want to add, too, is that the, the ones that were reissued by Rob Caldwell, and compared to the older um, original versions, if my memory serves me correct, has more of a bottom end uh, built here to the the bass more clearly, uh, more more crisper sound, um, as my memory serves me correctly for the ones being reissued. There you have it, folks. Uh, have a great day. All the best. Bye now.